Hey everyone, exciting news. Google has finally launched their new application for Windows and that is Google Play Games. So I'll tell you everything about this in this video. So keep watching. You can now access all your favorite Android games without needing an emulator. No more blue stacks, no more game loop or no more LED player. You can download and play games directly on your Windows PC. Isn't that fantastic? To get started, you can download the Google Play Games application from their official site. And the best part is that is completely free of cost. Now let's talk about my experience. I installed this application on my main PC because unfortunately my secondary PC didn't meet the system requirements. Speaking of which, here are the minimum system requirements you will need to run Google Play Games smoothly. After successfully installing the application, I received a prompt to enable virtualization on my computer. For those who might be unfamiliar, this is an essential step. You will need to get into BIOS setting on your motherboard to turn this feature on. It might sound technical but it's usually just a matter of enabling a single option. Once that was set up, I was ready to go. The first game I installed was Free Fire. I played Free Fire for quite a while and was pleased to see that the gameplay was exceptionally smooth with no frame drops or lags. The only downside I noticed was that the FPS was logged at 30. Even after adjusting the in-game graphics settings, it remained the same. This is something I hope Google addresses in future updates. Next, I moved on to other popular games which is Asphalt 9 and Clash of Clans. Unfortunately, I encountered the same issue with these games. The FPS was locked at 30 and I am not sure why this is happening. But I am confident that Google will work on improving this aspect. Despite this, Google Play Games is still the best alternative to traditional emulators. The interface is sleek and user friendly and the overall performance is impressive. Google has also announced that they plan to add many more Android games to the platform, which is exciting news. I particularly hope they add Call of Duty. It would be amazing to play it on a big screen. For those who are looking to get more FPS in your games and optimize performance, here are some things to tweak. First, ensure your PC meets the minimum requirements. This will save you from potential performance issues and other errors. Second, update your graphics drivers. Keeping your drivers up to date can significantly improve performance. Third, monitor system resources. Make sure you don't have too many background applications running as they can affect game performance. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Microphone check, make it a microphone check. Give it a microphone, I make the make it a microphone dead.